My name is Desmond Miles. I'm a prisoner of war. A war I never knew existed. Waged by two groups I never thought were real. Templars and assassins. The Animus showed me the truth. The things I've seen, the things I've been. A thousand years of history flowing through my veins, brought to life by this machine. They're using you. Using me to search for something. Call it the Apple. It's an artifact. One of many so-called pieces of Eden. Templars collect them. It's how they stay in power. And if the Templars get their hands on another one, everything will change. They want to make us all their slaves. When they first brought me here, I was afraid of what would happen if I tried to fight back. Now? Now I'm afraid of what will happen if I don't. But I can't do it alone. And maybe I don't have to. I met someone. Her name is Lucy. I think she's on my side. But she's gone now. She was taken away by that bastard Warren Vidic and his Templar masters. I don't know what will happen to her, or what'll happen to me. All I know is I need to get out of here, and I need to do it soon. My name is Desmond Miles, and this is my story. All right, greetings everyone. This is Ronan Mac here, and this is gonna be the third and final purchase Lucy, of mine from the Steam Summer Sale. Just another game that uh, I've always heard rave reviews of and wanted to check out. And fortunately for $9.99, it was Get worth in. picking what's up. What's with the blood? Are you okay? Look, we have Don't ask me to explain what's going on because I really have no idea. Done. If we're not out I think of here we'll find out together. Then. Wait, we're leaving? Desmond, I promise I'll answer all of your questions later. But right now, I need you to just shut up and do what I yeah. say. So please, get in the Animus. All right. Huh. So, if you hadn't guessed or you don't know, this is uh, Assassin's Creed 2. And apparently it's sort of uh, past and present, or past and future mesh up. I don't know. We've got this Desmond guy who can apparently flash back into uh, past lives or ancestral memory or something. I don't know. It's sort of like... Uh, Highlander meets the Matrix or something. He gets to do flashbacks, and uh, you'll notice as I go through here, I really don't understand the controls. It gets better as we go. So we get to go all the way to the beginning of our. Uh, Pastime major protagonist who is uh, Enzio. Oh, my love, me dispiace. I, I was at the bank when they told me. Did I miss it? Am I too late? Give him here. Giovanni. Shh, my love. It will be all right. Tu sei un auditore. Sei un combattente. Perciò, combatti. Kind of the big mess up here was it's just giving me uh, symbols, and I don't know what key corresponds to them because I haven't mapped anything, but just sort of randomly push buttons until you you get the right one. And I have remapped some of these. But... And the baby cries. Listen to him. It's all good. A fine set of lungs. And what shall we call him, my love? Ezio. Ezio. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. All right, so uh, Ezio's born. And I still don't know what the hell's going on, but maybe we'll find out as we move forward. Get up. Let's go. Yeah, well, I'm gonna need a second. There isn't time, Desmond. We have to leave. Not a 
really getting out of here, huh? So apparently Desmond was captured by the Templars, Sturgo's and got some that was probably what happened in the first installment of Assassin's Creed, which, like I said, I've hey, never played before. Be up here. But I figured, oh, as opposed to going too I'm old, I just in. pick up Assassin's Creed 2. Play filled in on the story. They still haven't figured out how to run yet. Fancy. Why are these my there they are! Don't let them get away! <laughs> oh yeah, that is so hot. Holy shit! Follow me. Hey, there we go. Now we're running it. Look at this place. What about the cameras? I rigged them to loop old footage. How do you think I managed to hide all your nighttime snooping from Abstergo? You're good. So I've been told. But they're on to us now. We need to hurry. I don't know. Lucy cuts a mean figure in them Careful. jeans. We need to get to that elevator on the other side of the room. Follow my lead. But keep an eye out for security. I'd rather avoid a fight. Is that an animus? Stay close. many of them are there? Wait. Is it animuses or animi? What do you think, Lucy? Lucy? What do they need with all of them? Desmond, shut the fuck up. Oh, please. come on. Language. Maybe she said please afterwards. I thought this card would work. It must be on a separate system, and I don't have the code. Wait. Shit. Oh, come on. How did you do that? I don't know. Let's go. I don't know either. That's uh, a lot of what happens in this game. I just do stuff, and I don't know how. It's always something. What was that in the animus? Subject 16? Ezio, Audi, Audi something? I think we've been wrong all along. That's why we need to get out of here. Vidic and the Templars, they're only part of the problem. What do you mean? I'll explain when we get there. Get where? I know exactly how Desmond feels. Now we're gonna get into a fist fight, and uh, again, I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm just... Uh, Mashing attack buttons, getting punched in the face a lot, and it all kind of works out again. Fortunately, none of the guards are armed; otherwise, I really would have. Also, unfortunately, uh, Lucy's kind of a badass, and she ends up taking care of more business than I do. Get in. You're joking. It's for your own protection. Oh, man. We're almost there. Wherever there is. Thanks for that. It was great. Shoving the trunk, bouncing around. Lots this way. So apparently Lucy was able to uh, there was a reason for clean her shirt as she was driving. Figures. We need your help. 
For what? Another treasure hunt through time? Abstergo's gonna replace their Apple of Eden. The map your ancestor found guarantees it. The other assassins... They'll do what they can, where they can, but... What? What is it? We're losing this war, Desmond. The Templars are too powerful. And every day, more of us die. I still don't see how I fit into things. We're going to train you. Turn you into one of us. What? No. No, you've seen me in action. I'm no good at this, and even if I was, it would take months. Years, even. No. Not with the Animus. Not with the bleeding effect. But I'm just one guy. Sometimes, that's all you need. So that's why you found him. My ancestor. What was his name? Ezio? If you can follow in his footsteps, you'll learn everything he did, just like he did. Years of training, absorbed in a matter of days. You broke me out of Abstergo and brought me here just to make me an assassin? Look, there's more to it than that, but it'll have to wait. Trust me, okay? All right, I'm in. Tell me what you need. Really? You're sure? I thought you'd be happy about this. Sorry, I'm just a little surprised. I spent the whole ride over here figuring out how I was gonna convince you to do this. Save it. After what those Templar bastards put me through, I'm ready, willing, and able. Not sure what they put me through, but, uh... Thank you. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do this, I guess. Lucy! You made it! God, it's been so long. Seven years, can you believe it? Indeed. Welcome back. Ah, so this must be the infamous Subject 17. Desmond Miles, was it? Who are you? I'm sorry, where are my manners? I'm Sean Hastings. This is Rebecca Crane. Nice to meet you, Desmond. Right, well, it's been lovely chatting, but if you don't mind, Desmond, it's best we get straight to work. Time is precious. Doubly so these days. We've got everything set up and ready, Lucy. Just say the word and we'll get going. Here, I brought you something. A parting gift from Abstergo. Whoa! The memory core! This is amazing. With their data, things are gonna go a lot faster. I'll get to work on merging the code. And once again, it's uh, not really telling me what to do, so I just kind of uh, poke around until I figure it out. And get a little more backstory, and then we're gonna jump into what appears to be the gameplay proper. What's all this stuff for? This stuff, Desmond. Oh, this stuff is nothing special, really, this stuff. It's just the stuff that keeps our entire operation from falling apart, really. It requires a great deal of concentration to keep it all moving, so you'll forgive me if I don't have time to play meet and greet. Sean's in charge of maintaining our knowledge archives. It's like a digital library. He'll be riding shotgun with me while you're in the Animus. So if you come across anything of note, people, places, events, etc., he'll create database entries you can consult for additional information. Yeah, it's not just databases, though. I also provide tactical support for the other assassins. You know, Desmond, the ones who are out there, actually doing stuff, risking their lives, little things like that. Hey, Desmond. What's up? Just wondering what your role is in all this. I take care of Baby. It's my job to keep her up and running. Baby? You mean the Animus? Actually, I prefer Animus 2.0, since Baby's twice as awesome as anything you'll find at Abstergo. The Templars might have deeper pockets than us, but they've got no ambition, no passion, no competitive edge. That's why, even with all their resources, anything they can do, I can do better. Faster, too. Anyway, Take a seat when you're ready, and we can get started. I just need to make a few more adjustments.
Hey, listen. I just wanted to say thank you. And, Thinking uh, after her. I'm sorry. Sorry. Getting the hug in the hallway, yeah, you know, he's before. putting the full press mech. It was just... On to Lucy. I wasn't ready. It's okay. And, uh, I understand. No. Where Going he's through all from that. There. Knowing that the Templars still exist, what they're planning. What's done is done, Desmond. You're here now, and that's what matters. Lucy, I've been seeing things. Symbols in my bedroom. The code on the keypad. Just like Altair. It's from the bleeding effect. You're taking on more than your ancestors' memories. You're taking on their skills, too. In this case, Eagle Vision. Skills? Mm -hmm. You're more receptive now. So if all I goes to get well, one of them animuses that sounds pretty animus, cool. You'll learn too. You really think this will work? That I'll become an assassin? You already are an assassin. You'll just be better at it. Yeah, hopefully much better at it. I mean, seriously, I saw the tapes from Abstergo. You didn't even try and escape. What a dick. I concur with that assessment. I don't think there's a whole lot else to do here, so I'm going to go ahead and get in this chair and uh, launch back in the past. So how does this work? See what Assassin's Creed 2 is all of about. Of course. Deep breath. Ah! Oh, what are you, a tiny child? I'm hoping she Sean. stuck that in my arm. Well, I really hope she just stuck that in my arm. Here we go. And here we get in the kind of Matrix-esque effect. And uh, see what we can see as it's building this artificial environment slash ancestral memory whatever this is together. All I know is it looks pretty cool when it all comes together. So it looks like we're gonna take a trip back to Florence, Italy, circa 1476. Right in the middle of the Renaissance in Italy. So it should be interesting to see what we can see in the past. Insieme per la vittoria! Insieme! Insieme! Insieme. Ah, ah, Silenzio, my friends! Silenzio! Grazie! Do you know what brings us here tonight? Honor! Viere de Pazzi slanders my family's name and forces his own miseries upon us. If we... Enough of your nonsense, Grullo! Buona sera, Viena. We were just talking about you. I'm surprised to see you here. I thought the Patsy hired others to do their dirty work. It's your family that cries for guards when there's trouble, Cotardo. Afraid to handle things yourself. Your sister seemed quite satisfied with the handling I gave her earlier. Uccidetelo! <laughs> So we're gonna start out in the past with a uh, little street fight, I guess. After getting hit in the face with a rock. Um, apparently this is what happens when you start a mission. And again, I'm really not familiar with controls, so my fight is less than stuff. I'm trying to discover if there's some sort of counter move, which I think that was, but it happened accidentally, so. I'm just gonna do some random punching. Accidentally punch one of my own guys, but that'll happen in the heat of battle sometimes. And even though I don't know what I'm doing, I just kicked that guy's ass. Non amo che mi si faccia aspettare. It's sort of a learn-as-you-go process, but uh, I'm not getting beat up too badly so far. Can shove people, grab a hold of them, headbutt them. Looks like there's a lot of options in fighting. I just have to discover what they all are. Get a little better assassin creeding as we go. Alright. 
behind you. Took care of the riffraff. Who's this? Federico! What are you doing here? I wanted to see if baby brother had finally learned how to fight. Well, I'm working on it. Uh, and? <laughs> you have style. But endurance is what counts. Let's see how many of them you can ruin before they get the best of you. All right. So we're going to have a little bit more of a fight here, and then I think we're going to close this particular chapter. Probably uh, play around quite a bit on my own, figure all this stuff out, and uh, give you a better review once I get into the game and understand a little more of what's going on. It's interesting so far. Fall back! Uh, Neat kind of cross time story stuff going on here. Uh, seems pretty intriguing, and I'm pretty Just sure I'll be able to get into this game as well. Decide. It's but. not necessary. Besides, I've no money for this doctor of yours. <laughs> wasted it on women and wine, huh? I'd hardly call it wasted. Exactly. Give me some floorings then. Or have you done the same? We're just going to loot a few <laughs> dead bodies, Search run to the doctor. <laughs> There's and, bound to uh, be something in their pockets. Start to learn some more of the interfaces of the game. But like I said, uh, we'll show that as time goes on. I do have quite a bit more footage recorded, but I think I'm going to stop it at this point. Just to uh, save myself a little bit of time and get back into playing the game. And like I said, uh, we'll check back in later once I get a better understanding of what's going on. And we'll give you a better analysis of the game at that point. So, that'll do it for this little episode of Assassin's Creed 2. Thanks for watching. Remember, rate and comment if you enough. would, please. Let's get out of and we'll check you guys later. Ronan Max signing out.